here's a racer puzzle with a picture that includes actual racers. Of course, the puzzle picture is too wide to fit full size, so it will move slowly across the screen. That way, you'll be able to see the whole picture and find all of the hidden objects. It's the annual animal bike race, and the turtle is off to a great start. But the giraffe and elephant aren't far behind, with all the creatures in hot pursuit. They're all working up a sweat, and they'll definitely need their drink bottles to stay hydrated. Help them find the bottles and count out loud as you find each one. There are 25 hidden bottles. In this round, you'll have 25 seconds to see the whole picture. Find the hidden bottles. On your mark, get set, go! bottles did you find? If you found 10, you were really chugging along. Okay, let's try it again. Only this time, you'll have a whole minute to find as many bottles as you can. Ready? Go! that time. I bet you found a few more. If you found 15, you definitely weren't bottled up. And if you found 20 or more, you're a bottle finding champ. Okay, let's go through the whole picture and see where all 25 of the bottles are hidden. Probably not the sloth, but at least none of the racers will suffer from thirst, thanks to your eagle eye. Make it. Hey guys, what you doing? Hi. We're coming up with a setting, characters, and surprise twist for an improv skit. Do you want to help? Yeah, oh, sure. So let's start with setting. Oh. What could it be? In, like at a beach? A beach would be cool, yeah. Maybe inside a video game. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What are some characters? Maybe a monkey? A bear? <laughs> <laughs> a clown? A clown, yeah. OK, what could the twist be? Ooh, ooh, what if everyone has to talk, like, backwards? <laughs> oh. What if we're on, like, Mars or a different planet? Ooh, that'd be fun. I've got one. Okay, let's shake it up. Okay, so the setting is, ooh, a birthday party. Okay, so the characters are a mom, a kid, and a clown. <laughs> and the twist is, everything is really wacky. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I call being clown. <laughs> I'll be the kid. I guess I'll be the mom. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, wow. How do I look? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Wonderful. Do I look like fabulous mom. or? Like... Take a look yourself. <laughs> you look like a mom. <laughs> you look wonderful. 
we look gorgeous. Surprise, honey, it's your birthday. I know how much you love chocolate and tuna, so I made you a chocolate tuna cake. <laughs> Here's your present. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a board game. <laughs> oh. no, it's a board game. Wait, I have a surprise for you. Uh huh. It's not really my birthday. <laughs> Today on Ever Wonder, we're going to find out how maple syrup is made. Kristen and Andy run Journeys and Maple Farm, and they'll show us how it's done. Maple syrup comes from maple trees. The first step is to drill a hole in the tree and put a spile in so the sap can drip into buckets. Tubing can also be used to collect the sap. The farmers go around gathering the sap from the trees. Then they pump the sap into the sap house. It goes through a filter and then into a big storage tank outside. For sap to turn into syrup, it must be boiled for a long time. These machines are called evaporators. They have many channels to help take the water out of the sap. Andy waits for the bubbles to look just right. He then tests the syrup to see if it drips off the pan and sheets. This process is called sheeting, or a maple syrup drip test. After going through the evaporator, the sap is transferred and boiled again in the finishing pan. Here, Kristen stirs and uses a hydrometer to check the thickness of the syrup. Then, after the bottles have been sanitized, they are filled with maple syrup and eventually brought to pancakes everywhere. Today we're making milk cat magnets. So we have colored paper, glue, magnets, cardboard, decorations, scissors, markers, and milk caps. So what do we do first? We're gonna cut out a circle cardboard so that the magnet will be brought up. I think we should trace it first. Okay, what do we do next? Now we need to cut it out. Okay. Let's cut it out a little smaller so that way it can fit perfectly inside the cap. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, I think I'm done. So what do we do? Okay, so next we need to cut a magnet and then glue it to the inside here. Hmm. But I don't really think that'll work because these are too far away from the refrigerator, so maybe we should make another layer of cardboard. Yeah, I think we need another layer of cardboard. Okay, so you put that in there. Yeah, and then it, now we can do the magnet. Do you think this is big enough? Mm-hmm. So cut it in a square, you said? Yep. I think we should glue the cardboard. Yeah, who are you making this for? Hmm, probably my mom or for myself. <laughs> yeah, me too. So now we get to decorate it. Do you think mine is high enough? Yeah. I think on the it's border? Right on the border. So what color paper do you want? I like the red, I mean, is it orange or red? It looks mm. like an orange. It's like an the orange is red. I'm what color use, are you taking? I'm gonna use blue. That's good. So what are you putting on your magnet? I'm gonna put a little bird. That's gonna be cute. I'm gonna put a ladybug 
Is it that or flower? We're tracing on the colored paper to make the top for the decorations. Wow, this is easier to cut on paper than cardboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I've cut out the top for my magnet and now I put it on so you can't really yeah. see the top. So, so you... I think we need to glue it down, right? Yeah. yeah. So best way is to make it kind of bigger than the cat because then you can't see it on the magnet. Okay. Thank you. So do you think it's time for decorations? Yep. Okay. I'll get my little birdie. Hmm? Do you think we could make these on like holidays for gifts and stuff? That'd yeah. Be cool. <laughs> Ooh, if we decorated on Halloween, I would like put a jack-o'-lantern on there yeah, and use orange awesome. paper. <laughs> Should I put a little flower on the bird? Hmm, they look cute. Like a little hairdo. <laughs> if I was gonna make this for my brother, I think I'd put a football on it because he loves football. For my mom, I would probably put like a nice little flower. Next time, I'm gonna make a bird. <laughs>
And that's why the coach of the winning team is getting a Gatorade shower.